Previously on Legally Blonde, the musical, The Search for Elle Woods. Emma received some disturbing news. I'm sick. I have bronchitis. And performing the song Serious was the girl's toughest test yet. Yes, baby, I'll give you my hand. What? Emma and Rhiannon soared to new heights. You were like Goldie Hawn. The yeah, fact you know, that you yeah. sound like this with bronchitis. It was great. But Autumn, Selena, and Cassie came up woefully short. So whiny, and <laughs> I just was so turned off in that moment. The judges shocked everyone by sending both Cassie and Selena home. Getting eliminated sucks. My hopes and dreams of being on Broadway had just been ripped from my hands. Tonight, the girl's ability to dance gets put to the test in the most physically demanding audition yet. I honestly thought you weren't going to be able to get through it. Six Broadway dreams are still alive, but only one can be Elle Woods. Who will it be? weird losing somebody. Mm -hmm. It's really nerve-wracking waiting for the girls to come back from the casting office. I don't know who's going to walk through those doors. You don't want to be rude and be like, one more down, five more to go, or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be that way because you know how that feels. Autumn is one of my biggest competitions, and honestly, I hope that she goes home tonight. I think this will definitely help give me a leg up in this competition. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. When Autumn came back, it was kind of bittersweet. When she first walked in the door, it was like, yay, Autumn's back, and she's by herself. And it was kind of weird, because we weren't expecting two girls to go home. So to not see Selena or Cassie walk in behind her was kind of a shocker, and it was hard to be really happy at the same time. Oh my god, this feels so good. You have no Aww. idea. Going through the casting office and being as embarrassed and disappointed in myself as I was, I am even more ready to prove myself. This is it. This is it? This is it. We're down to six girls, and it's really starting to get competitive. A lot is on the line, so I'm going to have to step it up. And I know for myself, you know, I'm going to put it in high gear and just do my best. There are only six girls left in the competition now. And every day we're getting closer and closer. And I really can't explain how much I want to play Elle Woods on Broadway. So the location is White Wave Dance Studio at John Ryan Theater in Brooklyn. Whoa, we're dancing. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so excited I can wear dance clothes. <laughs> I woke up and I still felt sick and it just made me really um, anxious because I don't want anything to get in my way at this point. There are only six of us left and one little slip up will send you home. What do you think we're doing today? I think we're going to dance. I'm nervous. I don't like dancing. We're going to a dance studio. I need to be in the top three. What's next? Because. The statistics show if you go twice, you're done. Hi, girls. Take your shoes off before you get on the floor. So after last night's elimination, we are now down to six of you. And one of you will be the next Elle Woods on Broadway. All right, girls, it's time for your next workshop. Of course, you remember associate choreographer to Legally Blonde the Musical, Dennis Jones. Hey, guys. Dennis, why don't you tell the girls you brought along today? Uh, this is Nick Kankel, who, in addition to being in the ensemble of Legally Blonde on Broadway, is the assistant choreographer and master of all things hip hop. Kicking, finger licking, like a freaking wicked sonic. 
Hey ladies, how you doing? Today's workshop is focusing on dance. Dancing is definitely at the bottom of my triple threadedness. I'm actually pretty equal with singing and acting, and then dancing is slowly catching up. Hello, I'm not getting any younger. Girls, Dennis and Nick will be determining a top performer from today's workshop. This stand-up performer will receive a well-deserved reward that will definitely give them an advantage in the next round of auditions for the judges. Get to work, and I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Let's, let's go on and learn some choreography. And just know that, you know, when Elle walks into a room, everybody looks at her. So be that girl today, right? Be the one that I have to look at. Cool. Can I just get a, I need a cup to spit in. Uh, can we get a spittoon? <laughs> Are you okay? What's going on I have bronchitis. Don't apologize for anything. Here we go. We start. We're going to do a little dance combination, OK? Nick's in the show, and he was there to help us with more of a hip hop style. I was super excited, because I think hip hop is my forte. Scoop through peanut butter and then snap it. Left, snap, boom, ha. You're late. What's your name? Yep, Autumn. Autumn. I got lost. On that walk, I want to see you be as confident as you can be. I want to see your best Beyonce imitation, all right? I don't want to see laziness. Nick was one of the more brutal teachers we've had. He, no joking, he was very serious about what he was teaching us. I need you to command attention from the audience. 1,400 people in the audience, all right? Let's go from the top. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. You gotta put some aggression into your dance. <laughs> you need to work harder. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like your smile, but I need to see some. I need to see you flip it. Okay, girls. Practice is over. <laughs> now it's for real. Elle Woods is not a flats kind of gal. She <laughs> likes her heels. All right. So we got you some go-go boots with a four-inch heel, right? The Broadway stage is not like this at all. It's literally an obstacle course of chords, of stairs, of tracks that guide set pieces in, tracks that love to get heels caught in them. So we're taking this dance to the cobblestone streets of Brooklyn. We have fabulous Pepto-Bismo pink, really uncomfortable high heels to dance in. Score. We come to this cobblestone area. That threw me. Guess what? We're gonna dance. Okay, let's okay. dance. Right okay. here. Okay. On this street. On this street? Oh, yep. not on that street. I could barely get the steps down standing inside in bare feet. I had no idea how I was gonna put on pink leather four inch heels and dance outside on cobblestone. What are extremely long lashes wearing this season? New CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. The Elasta Nylon Formula flexes without flaking, so women prefer it 4 to 1, and lashes look up to 80% longer. New Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl. Laura Bell does this eight times a week, every night. She's able, in heels higher than that, to negotiate stairs and tracks, tracks this big, tracks that literally eat stilettos for lunch. So we're gonna do the dance on the streets of New York. So here we go, guys. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Dancing in possibly the most uncomfortable pink stiletto boots I've ever worn on cobblestone in the freezing cold was less than ideal. I was definitely suffering from feeling winded um, due to the bronchitis. Yeah, nice. Change lines for me. Change lines. Take a big step this direction. Let's do it one more time. I was really struggling to catch my breath. I started to get a little worried. Are you hungry there? Stay warm, ladies. Mm -hmm. You want to sit one out? Here we go. It's five, six, seven, eight. Hot, hot, two, hot. 
I was freezing cold. But once we started dancing and we had the music outside, I felt like I was really in a music video, so I sort of felt like a superstar. Oh, There we go. Guys, this way. Back inside. Come on. Despite how sick I was, I got through it, and I was really proud of myself. Hi, girls. So like I told you guys before, Dennis and Nick will be determining a top performer from today's workshop. And today's stand-up performer will receive a relaxing and rejuvenating private yoga lesson with Kate Schindel. <gasps> Kate plays Vivian in Legally Blonde the Musical. Get back in the game. Back on the case. Take you guys soak up the time you get with Kate and try to learn as much as you can from her. She's a big part of the show, and you guys should take every advantage of that that you can. Nick, Dennis, who is today's stand-up performer? It's Natalie. Yay! Yay! I was literally in shock because, honestly, I did not think it would be me at all. I was like, really? OK. But I wasn't going to argue. <laughs> I thought you were very consistent, and then I was pleasantly surprised outside. It was uh, a happy-go-lucky, but it wasn't cheesy. It was just the right amount of sass. And Natalie, you also get to choose one other girl to go with you. I think I'm going to choose Rhiannon, because she could use a little pampering. OK, great. So I have details about your next audition in the packets. Thank you. You'll be performing the Shake Your Junk section in the song Positive oh, for the judges. Yes! I was personally really excited just because it's one of my favorite scenes of the show. Let's take a look at how they do it in the musical. So remember, after your next audition, one of you will be going home. So Natalie, Rhiannon, you guys enjoy your reward and work hard, you guys. Good luck, and I'll see you later. Thank you. Hi. Well, I'm glad you're here. I guess we're going to do some sort of yoga poses and some restorative stretching stuff. I love yoga. Dance. Yoga makes me feel really good. Reach your right leg high up. Open up that hip. Feel your fingertips reaching for the sky. After yoga class, we had a chance to sit and have tea with Kate and pick her brain a little bit about what it's like to be in the show. You've seen Elle Woods perform every night. Yeah. And what kind of tips would you give to us girls who are like trying to become Elle Woods? The people who I think are most successful are the people who never play dumb. You know, there's this sort of playing a dumb blonde that is kind of a stereotype of Elle Woods. But if you watch the movie, for example, like Reese Witherspoon was never dumb. She just had a different value system. That's really good Thank advice. You. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that is. When you were starting out, mm -hmm. I mean, were there ever like times where you you were unsure of yourself and... Yeah. I mean, I have those times now, all the time. If you stop <laughs> being unsure of yourself, you're probably not challenging yourself enough. So uncertainty is good. It also, like, lets you sort of ride that edge of adrenaline and excitement that makes a really good performance. Meeting Kate Schindel was so much fun, and she just helped us and gave us some L pointers about making sure to stay positive, and it was really good pointers to help us in all of our upcoming auditions. Good luck to you both. Oh, I hope thank that you. it goes great, and I, I hope I see one of you. So after we went to the spa, we went back to Bernie Telsey's office, and we learned our dance for the audition. We're going to learn um, part of positive, right? All of you will have the opportunity to play L in this, which means that there are six different configurations that we need to learn this dance in, uh, right? So put on your thinking caps and spread out. Shake Your Junk is a really tricky, you know, dance section of the show. We have to learn it very fast today, and nobody shakes their junk like Nick. Shake, 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 shake. Hit, look, front. 
three, four, and five. Cut, cut, look. Flip, sit. Boom, don't be late. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now, dancing is definitely not my strong suit. I used to be an awesome dancer, but I haven't taken class in probably five years. Yeah, you flipped the wrong way. So you screwed her up because you weren't in the right place. Now I'm getting to so turned boom, around. Ah, boom. thank you. Now the girl playing L doesn't have to turn. All the girls face L. OK. Yes. And if you're not L, you have boom, boom, pull it in. So guys, that's the end of rehearsal. The rehearsal tonight was cut short to challenge them. Sometimes you only get an hour to learn something, and then boom, you got to swirl it up. So go over your homework and know these patterns. Don't mess somebody else up because you don't know where you're supposed to be. I knew at that moment for sure I had my work cut out for me, and I was going to have to go home and bust my butt to get that dance down. Shake, 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 it says, the judges have been judging you for the last four weeks, but now let them know how you would judge this competition. Who is the weakest singer, who is the weakest dancer, who is the weakest actor, who would most likely sabotage another girl to get the part, which girl should have already been sent home, and who is going to win this competition? Yeah, looking at the questionnaire, we were incredibly angry, basically asking us a variety of awful questions. And especially like after we've all had like such a rough day anyways, this is like, this, this, is, this, is, this is what makes the business sickening. This is disgusting. <laughs> what are extremely long lashes wearing this season? New CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. The Elasta Nylon Formula flexes without flaking, so women prefer it four to one, and lashes look up to 80% longer. New Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl. While we were rehearsing the dance in the loft, we got a call sheet, and they had some questions on it that we were supposed to answer. Who's the worst singer? Who's the worst actor? Who's the worst dancer? Lauren actually thought that the questionnaire was against her personally. I feel like you guys have put me down for every answer in this question. I'm no, obviously the heaviest person here. I'm obviously the weakest dancer on this list, and I just no, feel like this is like directed no, again no, no, for them to make that this is absolutely not in the spirit of Elle. <laughs> First of all, I want a pen to rewrite these questions. We're going to play the game. We're going to play it our way. This is a competition in the spirit of Elle Woods. So I just decided that there was a way to handle this that was so much more positive. We're putting most improved singer. I think that's a compliment. That is not saying that you're bad now. It's not saying you were bad before. It's saying that you've shown growth since you were here. Who's going to win? Who's shown the most growth? Autumn stepped up to the plate and took charge, and we all started brainstorming on different ways we could rephrase the questions and change them into positive things. Snaps to you girls. I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Most improved dancer. I put Lauren because I watched you dance at the first audition and I watched you dance today. And just to see your confidence level go from here <laughs> to through the roof was just so amazing to watch. Congratulations, Snaps to y'all, because it's totally true. We decided to do the L thing and not answer those questions and we fixed them and made them better. And it ended up being a lot of fun, and we openly discussed who we thought had improved the most, and we ended up coming out on top. The only way to get through this, guys, is if we stick through it together. It's kind of ironic that this week, our audition is to the song Positive. You can't let these things get you down and take something bad and turn it into good. 
The dance we learned at the rehearsal was really difficult, and Dennis ended up having to cut the rehearsal even short. We not only learned that we were going to be dancing Elle's part of the song, but we were also going to be learning the chorus part as well. I think it'll be fun being up on stage all together, and you know, it kind of gives you a chance to get those nerves out. And it's, this dance is ridiculously hard. Switch, switch, switch. switch. No, no, no. Just the beginning part, yeah. Honestly, I think we're gonna be up all night, so let's just keep on going. We have not had nearly enough rehearsal time with Dennis for this dance. It's long, it's tough, we have to do multiple different parts, and I feel like a fish out of water. I'm having a really awful hair day. I'm really nervous about dancing in front of the judges today. We learned a lot of choreography in a very little amount of time. I hope I can keep my momentum going because at this point you can't afford to have a bad day. My talent will shine through my bad hair. <laughs> um, oh my god, I would rather walk through hot coals than do a dance audition. <laughs> I am absolutely terrified right now to dance in front of the judges. I feel like I could go up there and just bomb it and that this could be the reason I'm going home. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Welcome to your next audition in front of the judges. You remember your judges, Bernie Telsey of Telsey and Company, one of the writers of the musical Legally Blonde, Heather Hawk. Hi. And Broadway diva, Paul Kanan. <laughs> I want to remind you guys what's at stake here. We're down to the final six, and one of you will be starring as Elle Woods in Legally Blonde, the musical. As you know, today in front of the judges, you'll be performing the Shake Your Junk section of the song Positive. And based on today's audition, one of you will be going home. Okay, girls, it's audition time. Make me proud. Shake your junk. I'll see you later, break a leg. I'm definitely anxious to dance in front of the judges today. We learned so much choreography, and it's not easy, and I really want to do well. What makes casting Elle Woods really difficult is that we really need someone who's a 10 in the singing, acting, and dancing. We need a girl who can captivate you in all three areas, because many of the numbers, she's actually doing all three things at the same time. I believe, Emily, you're up. It's five, six, seven, eight. Shake, shake. You looked like you were thinking at the end. Yes. That's tiring. I have bronchitis. I'm having trouble breathing. Oh. Right. I gotta say, for me, I honestly thought you weren't gonna be able to get through it, whether it's exhaustion, whether you're sick. All of those things are all good reasons, but they're not good enough. Um, in all honesty, if I had had to do a show today, I would have said I need my understudy because I don't have the lung capacity right now because I am, I have bronchitis. A lot of times, it's too late to call out of the show. You have to you have to do the show. And that's what eight shows a week takes. It's rough. I thought Emma did a really great job. I really have no idea what the judges are even thinking. The fact of the matter is, is that I am not a dancer. I don't go in for dancer roles. I have no idea where I'm going to fall in terms of being in the bottom three or not. No idea. What are extremely long lashes wearing this season? New CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. The Elasta Nylon Formula flexes without flaking, so women prefer it 4 to 1, and lashes look up to 80% longer. New Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl. I don't think I would say I'm completely confident that I'm not going to be in the bottom three. There are six of us, and it's just really a toss-up. I want to make sure I, you know, do it 
Great. Give me your best L. All Here right. Here we go. It's five, six, seven, eight. really fabulous. And you were working that hair. That was flying every which way. You know what was really great was this was the first time in all of these auditions that I had to be reminded, and it was because of your performance, that Elle Woods needs to be sexy. Let's move on to Rhiannon. I just feel like this week my self-confidence has gone down a little bit, but hopefully I'll just go up there and rock it. For a girl who was, you know, literally hit it out of the ballpark last week, I was a little disappointed. I felt like, yeah, I still see the goofiness and I still see that kind of originality. But at the same time, I didn't see any of that. For me, technically, it was one of the weaker ones, just as far as the dance and being centered and stuff like that. All right, Lauren, take it away. It's five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Lauren, that was great. <laughs> How'd that feel? Did you have fun? It felt good. You did a good job of leading all these girls behind you. When you're up there, you really stick out. Thank you. I thought it was great. You were selling it. You were sexy. You were determined. You know, I was seeing a lot of Elle Woods throughout the course of that thing. I was really impressed. Thank you very much. To have struggled so much in the dancing workshop, it was great to go into the audition and just nail it. Who's up next? I am. All right, hi, Autumn. Hi. Take it away, Autumn. All right. Here we go. It's five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and it had like a kind of goofiness, you know, to it, which is an interesting take. But I mean, I could definitely feel your lack of confidence. I'm feeling under exhausted and underprepared, so I think that was a little bit of what showed. It's, like you said, it's not your strong suit. It can't be about excuses, I didn't know the choreography, or I'm tired, and whatnot. You just gotta, you know, hit it out of the ballpark. Oh. When I saw Autumn run off the stage, I got really nervous. I didn't know if she was scared and just got too nervous. I didn't know if she was sick. I had no idea what was going on. She already went. Oh my God. What are extremely long lashes wearing this season? New CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. The Elasta Nylon Formula flexes without flaking, so women prefer it four to one, and lashes look up to 80% longer. New Lash Blast Length from CoverGirl.
During my audition, I started to feel funky. My stomach hurt, something was definitely wrong. I don't necessarily agree with everything the judges are saying. I know my weak dance points, but I also know the situation I'm in. And I think that out of all the girls, I, I sold the dance. It's driving me crazy. Sorry. <laughs> Autumn, you okay? I'm right. just really embarrassed. No, hey, oh, this is life. Dennis, why don't you grab a chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit yeah. Out on I'm so watch. sorry. Girls, so the show's got to go on, and we got to stick with what we're doing here today, okay? That's off stage. All right, Natalie, take it away. <laughs> Woo! I was so surprised. You have fun.